I heard that in Sweden, 9% of children between 7 and 14 years old do have some kind of hyperactivity, ADD, ADHD. It's a number that is like double the last uh, five, six years. It's crazy. In conventional medicine, people tend to, to medicate. What, what is your take on that? Yeah. So I absolutely am looking for the root cause. And so in conventional medicine, we go, okay, this is what's going on. We're seeing some attention issues. Let's use medication to get it better. What we do in functional medicine is we say, okay, we see attention issues. Well, let's try to figure out for that child, why is that going on? For one child, it may be a crummy diet. They may be not having enough protein in their diet. Whenever they, you know, for breakfast, they may have a muffin and banana, for example, but there's no protein there. There's not enough good fat. That makes it very hard for them to focus at school. You know, it may be diet related. It may be like we talked about the food coloring. There are some kids that have attention issues with gluten and dairy because of these components called gluteomorphins and caseomorphins. Are they getting a diet that's rich enough in omega-3 fats? Right, those omega yeah. fats are so important for brain health. So we, we start to say, okay, what's going on in the diet? You may have another kid that it's related to sleep. Maybe they're, maybe they've got yeah. sleep, you know, like we mentioned, or yeah. they're only getting six hours of sleep a night because yeah. they're, you know, playing a video game till midnight. Exactly. Yeah. Right. 